Skeletal muscle tissue is the largest organ by mass in the human body, and it is crucial for locomotion, posture, respiration, physiology, and energy homeostasis. The skeletal muscle structure consists of thousands of aligned muscle fibers, which have originated from the fusion of myoblasts. To understand skeletal muscle function, plasticity, disease, and drug response, several muscle cells have been cultured in the lab and various culture models have been developed. However, these models are limited in size and do not properly mimic native tissue architecture. Tissue models in three dimensions can be obtained by culturing stem cells in hydrogels. To engineer skeletal muscle tissue, we will need to induce differentiation from these stem cells into muscle cells and have them form myotubes and myofibers. Mechanical stimulation can induce myogenic differentiation and unaxial myofiber formation. Passive mechanical tension can be applied to the forming tissue by introducing two anchor structures at the extremities of a muscle block. Such a constraint converts the internal forces driven by hydrogel shrinkage and tissue maturation into passive tension. The passive tension in turn promotes muscle tissue formation. To engineer such a structure at the centimeter scale, we need to guarantee sufficient nutrient and oxygen supply for cells to survive within the inner core of the muscle tissue. A network of channels aligned with the fiber direction can support cell viability by allowing for liquid perfusion through all the tissue volume without disrupting the muscle fiber structure. However, the positioning of the anchors obstructs the perfusion network. We engineered a centimeter scale, skeletal muscle tissue that enables perfusion of the tissue, even when combined with anchors, and we realized it via extrusion-based multimaterial bioprinting which allowed us to precisely position multiple inks and fabricate the whole structure in one go. To achieve that, we combined three inks, one bioink with cells to form tissue, one sacrificial ink to generate empty spaces for channel structure, and a synthetic ink for the anchors. The anchors were designed to host the pillars to fix the tissue for maturation and to stably interface with the tissue through tissue interwoven elements. To enable perfusion, cavities were designed in the median and lateral sides of the interface to directly connect with the intratissue channel arrays. As shown by the green fluorescent staining, cells in direct contact with the centithane anchor wall were viable. Thanks to the interwoven design of the anchors, the biohybrid structure endured the passive mechanical tension and remained intact after two weeks of tissue maturation. This biohybrid design was sufficiently stable to enable the formation of highly aligned myofibers with a high maturation score based on molecular marker analysis. The bioprinted channels were homogeneously distributed throughout the matrix and had an initial diameter of 200 micrometers. After two weeks of tissue maturation, the channel diameter reduced to 50 micrometers, which matches the typical size range of arterioles. These channels remained open and could be perfused by staining solutions or cell culture media. By mimicking the microvascular unit of the muscle, our design preserved cells from hypoxia and limited cell death all over the scaffold volume in contrast to non-channel controls where red stain dyeing cells were many more. Our constructs could serve as a biomimetic vascularized muscle model for pharmaceutical test in which drug molecules with different size could be delivered by simple addition to the liquid media or via a local tissue injection that mimics intramuscular drug delivery. Green fluorescent molecules highlighted the structure of the channels. Drugs with various molecular weights distributed differently through the tissue and the vessel mimicking network and showed different release kinetics that were highly affected by the presence or absence of the perfusible network. With this work, we showed that extrusion-based multimaterial bioprinting and biohybrid designs can realize skeletal muscle tissue that faithfully mimics the native vascularized muscle tissue architecture and can be used for drug distribution tests.
This work was realized in the Soft Robotics Lab at ETH Zurich with the support of Scope M, Alive and Wholesome projects.